without further ado, let's get into the starters in the infield. Wilson Contreras, who's having a fantastic season for the Cubs, will be a free agent at the end of the year. So either he leaves and gets a big deal, or maybe he's traded. Who knows? Hard to trade catchers during the season. You don't see that very often. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, what a year he's had at first base. Jazz Chisholm Jr. of the Marlins gets the start at second base. I don't think he will play in the game on Tuesday, but we will see. Uh, Manny Machado plays third for the Padres, potential MVP there. And then uh, speaking of free agents, the Dodgers will have to make a decision on Trey Turner at the end of the season, George. But if we know anything about the Dodgers, what they'll probably do is let Trey Turner go and then replace him with someone else who becomes an all-star for the next five years too. The Dodgers don't like giving out those you know, hundreds of millions. They like the like 100 to 200, you know, and to sort of move the money around a little bit. Yeah, I'd be interested to see where Trey Turner goes in the offseason. Uh, great player here. I have no qualms with any of this. I think they got this exactly right. Now, we're talking five superstars here. I do think uh, the Cubs are going to have to trade Contreras. You mentioned it's hard to trade a catcher because you, know, you don't know the pitching staff, right? It's like trading a quarterback in football, you don't know the system. So it can be difficult, but Contreras is going to move if I had to guess. I'm going to say the Mets, right? They just lost their starting catcher again here in McCann. Yeah. They don't want to call up our top prospect, Francisco Alvarez, because he's not ready defensively yet. So I got to think Contreras to the Mets makes an awful lot of sense here. We know Cohen's got the money to re-sign him. So it wouldn't just be a uh, you know one a three-month deal here when he's gone. Uh, so Contreras to the Mets is where I'm going. 